shame about it. Why'd I'm you like, hit record, fuck. dude? I just noticed my feet are in the fucking video <laughs> camera. All right, whatever. It dude. was good content. I'm, you guys were talking <laughs> about how late Larry was. Nobody wants to watch my feet. In yeah. The thing. Larry's leg. Yeah, you could probably make a lot of money with just like feet pics and stuff. People are crazy with that stuff. Maybe if we, uh, when we get a little bit more, uh, I don't want to say famous, but yeah, notoriety, then I could sell some feet pics. There you go. I would, dude, honestly. I don't, I don't think there's a problem with the feet being in the... Uh, this in, took in a in turn I did not expect. We were just talking about Larry being... Dude, if someone offered it. you money Wait, Larry, to see pictures Larry? of your feet... 100%. Dude, it's not even like an embarrassing thing. It's like, yeah, if you want to look at my fucking feet, go ahead, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's weird, it's but yeah. Your own, dude. This did take a weird turn. Yep. Whatever, dude. Press the button. Let's get it going. Come on. Uh, look in, uh, link in the bio for Larry's OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> link in <the> bio. <laughs> All right, all right. Welcome to Inside the U, the ultimate adult hockey podcast. I'm here with Larry Legend. Yo. Jerry the Greek. I'm back. And special guest, Ross Bryan. What's going on, boys and girls? So, oh, let's go. Let's go ahead, Larry. I know you want to do my intro all over again. Uh, <laughs> well, you, you change it up on me every single week. But each week we do bring you guys insider topics, special guests, and slight entertainment from the world of adult hockey, along with discussions and updates around our league. Like Steve said, I am Larry Joined by Steve, Jerry, and this week we do have a special guest, Ross, a uh, big name in the U and member of the Rain City Pigeons. Uh, but before we get into that, I'll pass it over to our returning co-host. I'm back. Thank you He's for... He's finally uh, back. Yeah, man. sorry about that. Thank we you did, for we did miss you, dude. No, you guys did well. We missed you, for sure. You guys did... I uh, didn't. Oh. No, I mean, you, I'm going to talk about how much oh, you butchered a few things, but no, you did <laughs> I was, uh I was happy with it. So I think we should go with what? Dusty's Brew first? Go yeah. for it, boys. All right, because we got to get Ross drinking. <laughs> All right, so Dusty's Brew of the Week is called Maine Event, like the state of Maine, because it's a New England-style IPA. Now, you might think it was brewed up there, but no. You know, this was made right here in New Jersey at Magnify Brewing Company, located in Fairfield. So, I uh, put them in here. <laughs> Great preparation, boys. Yeah, I was I was prepared. He doesn't know. All right. So main event was created to pay uh, homage to the times they spent in Maine and New England, which was the inspiration for the broom company. So this IPA is 6.5%, has a low bitterness, and notes of juicy tropical fruits. So it's homage. Hom- homage, right? Homage? I homage. I said homage. Homage. I don't know what it is. Homage? Do you know? doesn't matter. Take a sip. <laughs> oh, man. This is all shook up, dude. Yeah, I'm all purpose, shook up. Ooh. All right, what do you What's think? What's it called? Main event? Yeah. But Maine, like the state of Maine. Well, if you listen to my freaking intro, you would know. Yes, Maine. Like, <laughs> I was getting the beer out of the cooler because you weren't beer. prepared. I had the beer. All right, what do you think? Because you got to rate it now. Oh, I forgot about that. Because, um, Ross, you like IPAs, right? I do. It's all right. I do. It's solid. It's, it's definitely good. solid. Yeah, it's solid. <laughs> yeah, it's not, not too bad. hoppy. Yeah, it wouldn't be. Uh, Steve's a tough critic. Yeah, he is. He is. <laughs> He I like I, he likes one beer and that's it. No, I like a bunch, but I just there's certain ones that I like, dude. Come All right, on, talk man. to me. What do you think? Uh, I go. With, I'm gonna go with the uh, the con- the alcohol content. Give it a six point five. Okay, I like that. It's okay. not bad. That's not it's a good score. What do you think, Ross? No, I mean I think it's a solid beer. Zero to ten. What do you got? Uh, Seven, seven and a half. Nice. Seven and a half. All right. All right. All right. I'll go it's right in the middle. Seven. seven. I like it. Yeah. You know, drinking it, you wouldn't think there's six point five percent alcohol in there. No, it's kind of no, light, no, right? It's kind of light. Yeah. yeah. I think we should probably uh, track these ratings that we're giving these because yeah, I don't. Well, even, I, guess, I, guess, I guess we are yeah, recording. That's, that's we can always go back and find out. But I, I, I kind of forget. I have my notes. Oh, nice, 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 dude. All right. So uh, should we just jump right into all about you? Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. All good right. Point. So, All About You, just so you guys know, is our segment where we take a few minutes to ask our guests a couple of questions to hopefully learn something about them and possibly make them a little uncomfortable. That's our goal. Great. You ready? <laughs> All right. So, tonight, we have a player who is always at the top of the offensive leaderboards. Legend has it. <laughs> Only after watching him play hockey did Muhammad Ali start <laughs> floating like a butterfly and singing like a bee. <laughs> Some people say Yager was so inspired, he asked this guest if he could wear his number. I'd like oh, to shit. welcome the angelic, <laughs> like stick handling pigeon of Rain City, <laughs> Ross Bryan. <laughs> Thunderous applause, Stevens. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you hit the right one. Yeah, the volume is down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we practiced before, <laughs> too, man. All right. Thanks for joining good. us, Ross. That was good. Welcome to the U headquarters. So, 
We'll keep uh, you around for another week after that, dude. That was good. Right? <laughs> that, that, was good. Was, that was a good one. All right. So <laughs> before we get started with the heavy hitting questions, I just want to learn a little bit more about you and your hockey origin story. Um, so what led you to the U? So, you know, when did you start playing? What was the highest level of the fans? The fans want to know, man. <laughs> so hit they us from want, the start. They do want to know. When did you start playing hockey? From the start. I mean, I probably first started skating when I was three, four years old. Wow. Obviously on roller, you know, roller blades, and then shortly after that, jumped on the ice. Ice. Um, Where'd you play? Ma- mainly Flyers Youth. Yeah. Nice. Yep. And then just high school. Yeah. Street so you team. grew up around here? Uh, Cherry Hill. So you grew up yep. in Cherry Hill? Cherry Hill, and then I did my travel and moved here and there a couple times. Okay. And nice. Nice. So Thanks, where'd you go to high school? Cherry Hill East. Cherry Hill East. Okay. Very nice. Um, and then did you play after high school at all? I did not. I didn't go to college, no? which yeah. I'm kind of, you know, regretting now, <laughs> now in life. But, yeah. you know. I can feel that, dude. That's all right. You play, like, just um, men's league after that, or after high school? Yeah, just men's league. Yeah, yeah. cool. All right. So, I mentioned uh, you were number 68. So, were you a big Yager fan? Because it's kind of an <laughs> odd number. Like, usually. Yeah. Um, it's funny. Like, I, I loved Yammer Yager, you okay. know, growing up. But he wasn't my favorite player. My uh, My favorite number is number 10. So I don't know why, you know, <laughs> yeah. I wore 68. I guess maybe there was another guy on the team that had 10 and I had to do it. So I was like, oh, 68, went. fucking yeah. Yager. I think you might have earned 10, dude. You might want to talk to your captain about that, dude. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So, so is that how it goes? Because that's how it goes in, like, other sports. It's like uh, the lower the number, like, the the better, like, the status of the players. Is that how it is for hockey? Too? Well, 10 is... So. Well, nah, yeah, I mean, Gretzky was ninety nine. Well, yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, but 10 is, like, if you're going to rock 10, you better be decent, bro. I'd say it's a, it's a solid number. <laughs> right? a solid yeah. number. Yeah. Is that a weird thing to say? I never thought about it, though. Because, like, for, like, for soccer, it's, like, nine. Like, all the best players are, like, nine. number nine. What is, yeah. like, Messi nine or something? I don't know what Messi is, to be honest. Like but, like, nine, Ronaldo yeah. and, like, all, like on the nine. old school, yeah, oh, we're, like, yeah. nine. I'm pretty sure. So how'd you end up on 68? Just random? Yeah, it was kind of just random. It's kind of a cool it, number, It's, like, either that or 93 my birth year, but mm. I figured, like, 68 kind of stands out more in a way. Like, yeah. You know, yeah, I like that. 68 is, like... I'm Yager. Yeah. He is a legend for sure. He is a legend. 100%. So. He's still playing, isn't he? Like, yeah. yeah. Yep. And he's still I'm sure he will like forever. Killing people. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So uh, last year you came in second in MVP voting to Bascal. We've heard enough about fucking Bascal. <laughs> so that must have pissed you off. Come on. It, it pissed you off a little bit. So did that, <laughs> did that fuel you coming into this season? I wouldn't, nah, not really. <laughs> on, I mean, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm kind of a humble guy, you know. Like, you know, Basquiat's a he's a great player, hockey player, and all. Um, he's a great dude, but no, nah, none of that stuff really matters to me. I'm just there to play, have fun, enjoy the game, of hockey, make yeah. people better. You know, yeah, love it. I like Basquiat's a humble guy too. So yeah, it was yeah, nice yeah, having exactly. you too up yeah, there. Yeah, it definitely is. I just wanted to poke fun a little. Yeah. Bit. It was like a one vote difference, right? It, it was, was it literally was, was, it one was close. It was and close. We, we had to do it like three times because it was tied. It was three times. Yeah, um, it was nuts. Yeah, yeah. And I, I forget what. Can it was just funny because Bud said, "Yeah, it's not like my vote matter." I'm like, it was literally one vote difference. <laughs> yeah. Like it did it, matter it what did you matter. what you voted. It, 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 it was matter. funny. It was cool though. I, I just thought it was like so perfect the way things ended up with you two, and then like yeah, it yeah. was very close. You know, we had a lot of engagement. A lot of people voted, so it was cool the way that worked out. Yeah. So I know you, knowing Ross, I'm sure it would, yeah. didn't bother him too much. I know. But. I want to. I want to try to start a rivalry in the. You're U, always man. trying to start. I know. Show. I'm trying. I always stir the pot. So that's what's fun about it. So, did you always play ice hockey? You ever play? You said you started roller roller blading when you well, were younger. Just, but yeah. did you ever play like deck or Not, roller or anything nah, like that? Never deck. Um, I mean, I played roller hockey like in my later days. In a way, I mean, obviously, I started. You know, first mm-hmm. thing was playing roller hockey, mm-hmm. but then I jumped right to ice. Um, I, I hate roller hockey. To be honest, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did I, people always say that that you're that you're a roller just, hockey player? And I'm all, like yeah, all the time. It's like time. nah. <laughs> I don't Sorry. know what it is, dude. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of like uh, maybe your style. It's a know. style, but it's also like the way it comes out in men's league because you can't really like. There's no. It's a different. It's a different sort of game. So I think you having the actual stick handling it shows. Yeah. On the ice, and then it just kind of appears that way. But I, it makes sense now. You mind if I jump in, Jer? Yeah. So absolutely. how? All right. So obviously, you're uh, probably the best, if not, you know, one of the best uh, stick handlers in the league. Uh, how did that come about? Did is it just natural, or you fucking were? I mean, some say <laughs> hands of an angel. I've heard. <laughs> I've heard, before, I've heard so. hands of an angel. I have heard that. Yes. So how'd so, that come about? So funny story with that. Um, you know, growing up playing like ice hockey a bunch, I 
never really even had the hands like that. I was more of just, you know, a very good skater mm -hmm. and a playmaker. You know, I passed the puck. Obviously, never had a shot. I don't shoot ever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but going back to roller hockey, that's kind of what developed my hands in a way. Yeah? Yeah. So after, you know, uh, high school, just fooling around playing a couple of roller hockey leagues with a couple of buddies, and I never really played before. Right. All these ice. And I was like, oh, like, this is – Way yeah. different game. The puck's <laughs> super light, you know. You could skate with your head down, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And that's kind of what, like, developed my hands in a way. It's weird yeah, yeah. for it to say, is, you know. No, so I mean, as much as I hate totally roller hockey, sense. you know, it kind of got my hands. Dude, I don't think I've ever played one organized game of roller hockey. Like, ever. <laughs> you played in the street when you were younger, though, right? Yeah, like, and yeah, I would go to yeah, the that's, park that's and shit, like, 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 pick up and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. And yeah, it's totally different. It's just the, it's like, so it, foreign yeah. to me. I, I, I'm, I know I'm not good at it, but it's just it's just funny. I never played it. <clears throat> that does make sense, though. And I never it does, knew. Yeah, for um, sure. It wasn't until like recently I, I realized that the because I didn't play roller hockey either, mm -hmm. and I didn't know that the puck was lighter. Mm -hmm. I know people rip shots with that oh, yeah. little puck. Oh, yeah. And then, um, like you said, like you're you can skate with your head down. You're, it's more like it's what men's league is really. Like you can't hit, so obviously you're going to be able to to stick handle. So that just how long was that? Did that, was that period of time a couple of years or a couple of seasons or it's probably like two years maybe dude mm -hmm. I'm gonna go play roller, roller hockey but I was always playing I was still sick, always playing dude. ice hockey <laughs> yeah 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 gotcha is it different like obviously when you're stick handling like it's, uh, and you get the heavier puck it's way I mean it yeah it, it's way different even the skating and roller hockey is way yeah. different than right ice. right um and then I actually got some Mars blades for uh roller hockey and I was kind of amazed with it like yeah uh jump on roller with them and it feels like i'm skating on ice almost that's what he said i yeah. have a pair yeah. yeah and it just it just obviously you can't stop like a ice hockey stop but the feeling when you're turning and skating feels like ice it does really? it's really weird it does, yeah it's yeah. really weird yep. i didn't believe it but if you put on um so i had a pair of regular roller skate or inline skates mm -hmm. and then mars blades and when you're in the regular ones they don't rock so it's really stiff like you know what i mean like you can't really you don't have that ankle flexion but when you put on the Mars blade, you can actually kind of move around, like kind of like you do on the ice. You have a little bit more, right. room, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes yeah. sense. I need yeah. to get a pair of those. Nope. No, they're, yeah, they're sick. They're yeah. really yeah. sick. Uh, I didn't believe it at first, but I put it on an old pair of, uh, I had an old pair of skates, and I just had them mounted to that, and they're really sick. Nice. Nice. So that's where the hands originate from, dude. Did you, did you say you've been playing since three or four? Like like consistently? or Yeah, it? I mean, I started oh, like skating around yeah. my you know house. And like Flyers before. Youth, you said? Flyers Youth, I probably started when I was eight or nine. Oh, okay. I would say I played okay. like in house before. Gotcha. And just like skating. Yeah, yeah. Did you play in high school too? Or? Yeah, I played in high school. Yep. I can't wait to get my son into it, dude. Yeah, right. Everyone talks about how young they start. Like to me, like I can't even remember when I'm three or four, let alone start playing hockey at that age. Well, yeah. <laughs> like not... I'd be much better, I think, if I started. But like, <laughs> well, I don't remember playing hockey at three or four. I know that I did. Did you? Right. Yeah. yeah, I don't Just remember see the old it. Pictures, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, oh, well, I guess I did. Luckily for me, I started at 38, so I remember. <laughs> I remember <laughs> everything. So I'm ready. The struggles. Yeah, yeah. that's funny. Yeah, you still dude. got time. You still got time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be in rusty. Just getting started. <laughs> but uh, all right, so. Now I think it's time for some off ice question. What do you think? All right, buddy. All right. What do you uh so what do you do when you're not playing hockey? What do you do for a living? What do you what are your hobbies like? What else? Well, um I used to play a lot of golf. Nice. Um, yeah. Not yeah. It was like growing up it was like hockey and golf and then I haven't really been playing golf for the past like 2 3 years, I would say. Just cuz You inversed. You yeah, did it backwards. You know, yeah, I feel like people pick it up, man. Yeah, like after no, the fact, it's funny. It's just so frustrating to me. Oh, you know, like, it's very frustrating for so long, and it's just like, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, you're good, and you expect yourself to be better than it is. One right. shot, like it, golf's a mental game. Bro, I'm just getting know. past that. Golf's right a now. fucking and asshole. You, you, know, what, you know what's funny about that? You hit like that. one or two good shots, and you're like, all right, I could do this, and that's what makes you keep coming back. But like the other hundred shots that you <laughs> take are terrible. But those two shots stick with you, and you're like, I'm going back out there because you want to get better at it. Yeah. So that's good because we'll uh, segue that a little later. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's an announcement later. <clears throat> but that's awesome uh, that you play golf. All right, so uh, it's time to throw you some curveballs. I think it's time, right? So not sure if you heard. Do you listen to podcasts? I'm putting you on the hot seat. Honestly, I do. Yeah, Let's you guys go. do a great job. All right. <laughs> Very yeah. entertaining. Thanks, All right. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I, you know, tap myself on the back even though I wasn't. <laughs> All right. So uh, <laughs> if you heard Steve's question last week, um, it was a little... A little graphic. It was a little risque. Dude. It was a little risque. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm not going to go as crazy. I'm going to kind of keep it classy. 
So let's talk yeah. about. Um, Excuse me, dude. Yeah, uh, vagina on your forehead. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I, think I, I think I know you're going. At, yeah. I do remember this one. Yeah. yeah so no, I'm just kidding with you. All right. So w- we're going with the what would you rather, right? So what would you rather? Because this is going for everybody. So think about it. Take a hundred million dollars and the guarantee to live another hundred years, but never play, watch, or talk about hockey again. Oh shit. Or Live as you do now, with no guarantee of life expectancy, but you get to play in the NHL for one year. That's elaborate. That's a no-brainer for me. Dude. Yeah? All right, all right. What? Ross answer for yeah, me. I was going to say, can you let the <laughs> guests speak? Well, you fucking opened it up to I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. <laughs> so what do you think? I can repeat it if you want. Yeah, one more time. <laughs> yeah, all right. one more time. I, I think I know my answer. All right, sure. you take $100 million and the guarantee to live another 100 years, but you never... You never play, watch, or talk right. about hockey. Hockey's like doesn't exist to you. Or live as you do now with no guarantee of life expectancy, but you get to play in the NHL for a year. Definitely. But are you good? Like if you play in the NHL, I mean, like, regardless, it doesn't matter. Do you get yeah, like yeah, the Space yeah, Jam no. juice and you're good? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you're an NHL player. Like you're an NHL player. player. You're you're in, you're okay, in there. Okay. You're an NHL player contender. You get to pick your team too. Ooh, oh, even better. Yeah. No, definitely, definitely number two. Yeah. Um, I All mean, right. just with the whole like life thing, like hundred year, hundred more years, like with a hundred, with, with, with a hundred, no fun, you know, that's a long time. That is a long time <laughs> with a hundred mil. Do with a hundred, uh, do you get paid to play? In the yeah. NHL, gonna, do you get paid to play in the NHL? Because what if you get a rookie no, no. contract, dude? That's pretty deep. That's pretty like you'll it's a million dollars. You'll dude. make like what one percent? No that? payment. No payment. Such a million no, no, dollars no, no, out no. for like a fucking <laughs> lifetime. No, I said you live as you do now. You All live right. as you do now, but you get to play in the NHL. You're on a team. Do and I gotta good. like pay for my plane ticket to go? Play? Yeah, I, like, <laughs> All expensive. I gotta paid. get some. Sort All of expensive paid, paid but All you right. don't get a paycheck. You live as you you live your style right now. Yeah. 100% with that. Money yeah. Money doesn't really mean much to me. Like, yeah, it's all I like about that. happiness. Okay. I like so, that. Like, you know, and hockey is probably a yeah, major source I, of happiness. Yeah, hockey yeah. is what makes me happy in life. You know, when I'm out Beautiful. there, I don't think of anything. I'm just, you know, doing my thing. Uh, I, what what yeah, team yeah. What team would you pick? Which I mean, would? obviously the Flyers would probably not because they're pretty uh, – They could use some pretty, help, buddy. Pretty embarrassing, you know. <laughs> yeah. But you yeah. got you to – yeah, yeah, they could probably sign <laughs> me right now. Here's the thing. You got to hear. So consider the city. You got You're going to enjoy your life. Yeah, dude. Do you want to do that in Philly? Dude, shut up, Jerry. I'm just saying. Of course, dude. <laughs> Philly Come on, sucks. man. Slander? I hates Philly. <laughs> More I slander? I do hate Philly. I do hate Philly. Did you like New York, dude? New York is a fucking well, the disgusting fact, The dude. fact is, when people say, <laughs> so I, I didn't grow up on this side of the state. I grew up on the other side of the state. But when people say, oh, I'm going to the city, I'm like, oh, yeah, let me know how New York is. And they're like, no, Philadelphia. I'm like, that's not the city. It's a, so much better. Okay, let me just tell you. It's a city, but it's not the city. I actually kind of agree with that. Thank you. If you want to go get a cold, go to New York City. <laughs> if you want to breathe in fucking sewage, fucking air, and garbage in the street, go to New York City. It's fucking awful. At least Philadelphia is historical. Well, so is like New you, York. Of what? The Statue of Liberty? I don't know. So what, dude? <laughs> Madison oh Square Garden? It's literally the most disgusting place on earth, dude. I'm sorry. Philly's fucking gross, too. Yeah, some areas of it Philly. Is not I, mean gross, the, I don't mean to dude. Like, take New York side, but it's New York side, cool. the pot up. Okay, Love any city with a <laughs> fucking <laughs> dense population, of course, is going to be, like, a little dirty. But, like, you were... Come on, dude. Every city has New York's really spots. Cool. Every city has New York's spots. not cool. I've never been there You're just one farm, single dude. time and liked it. There's a hillbilly, dude. But I, I like Philly. No, you don't. Philly. When's the last time you've been Philly. to Philly? Huh? When's the last time you've been to Philly? I don't know, like a month ago probably? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Not just driving through. <laughs> no, dude. I love Philly, dude. I love Philly, dude. Yeah. It's, it's all right. right. It's all right. All right so New York's just fun. What would you guys do? Uh, I would definitely 100% play in the NHL because NHL? Um, I could never not go without playing hockey. I totally agree, honestly. Um, like Yeah, that's like a, hockey is way yeah. more... Like, no one understands, like, unless you play, like, when you're playing, like, no matter what's going on in your life outside of it, like, when you're playing on the ice, when you're on the ice, you don't think about none of that mm, shit, dude. I was, dude, I was literally thinking about none that of the that way shit, here. Yeah. It's like meditation in a way. Oh, yeah. my God. Exactly, it. dude. Yeah, exactly. I was literally thinking that on the <laughs> way here about just something, just, like, talking points and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. I have no idea why, but oh. I, I probably brought it up, like, five other times on this on the podcast, but... <laughs> we manifested it. You manifested it. Right? Yeah. It really it's, it's unique because it's so fast-moving. Yeah. Um, you, you, have, don't have, you, you don't have a chance to think about anything else, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, while you're playing. Um, 
I never thought it's of crazy. it that way. Like meditation, absolutely is. It is exactly it, uh, that was exactly what I was going to say. It's I got to exactly be honest. Meditation. I yeah. did say one of the best things was like my first experience jumping on the ice. I was just like, "This is freaking cool." Yeah. Like, this is it's like, like euphoric. Yeah. It really yeah. is, it's and I, I had such high. a high afterwards. Oh. But give me that hundred mil. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. Give well, me that hundred million. You haven't milli. been playing for a while. That, exactly. But here, and, and listen, I don't have hockey. That's fine. I love hockey. I wa- love watching it. Mm. Whatever. But. I got still got basketball. I still got you know all the other sports that I play. I get and, it. I get it. And I think it would be cool for me to see my, <laughs> my kids, have their kids, their <laughs> kids, and have a hundred. Talk to you me. Know what all I mean? right. What is it? It's June thirtieth. That's fair. A year from now, I'm going to ask you that same question. Okay. After you've been playing for a little while, you're going to remember it because if I didn't Market play, <laughs> if I didn't have hockey, I would jump off a fucking bridge. Dude. Yeah. Like yeah, for it's a nice out. Is a right, but again, <laughs> like I have my first love is like the way you guys love hockey, and tr- trust me, I love hockey, and I love playing, I love learning, and, and all that good stuff. Dusty's like awesome for right now, but th- that's how my love is for basketball. So yeah, what, but I'm gonna you pause do? on you, pause you on that. Okay. If now I'm not trying to call you out, but you don't play basketball, <laughs> not anymore. Well, okay, I did, I did like, last year, but that's the thing, though. Like, <laughs> if I, I could opp- never go. If I went a month without playing, I'd be losing my fucking mind. My wife will be like, if I don't play for a while, which I, at, luckily lately <laughs> I haven't had that problem. <laughs> but like, if I didn't play for a while, she'd be like, you need to go fucking play because yeah, you're an she, asshole. And she's, <laughs> and she's right. And that's why it's like it exactly. literally is a good way to just clear your mind. Like, like, clear you, your mind. You're not like that with basketball. So I'm like that with sports. So okay, as long okay, as I'm doing you. something. Okay. But if it was my first choice, because right now, like, I know you guys are going to give me flack, but I play pickleball, too, right? Because I play. <laughs> I, I still want to track that. Yeah, it's cool. So I played, I played tennis in uh, uh, high school as well, and then we p- I picked up pickleball. He's probably so. a menace on the tennis court. Dude. Yeah. I could, I could just feel it. Because he's fucking. Yeah, he's dude. The leverage, bro. the whole width of the fucking court. <laughs> my, my, my point is, it's like, it's just sports in general. So I can, like, find that euphoric in any kind of sport if I ingrain myself. So apply that question to but just sports in general. So would you would you would, oh, you, sports would you take in general? the money right, and, but yeah. you can't play sports in general you can't Ooh. play or talk about or or talk what was exactly. that part of the question like if so I, yeah, yeah if I didn't have yes. sports in my life you can't no talk about it either it was, yeah. 100 million or no sports Man, I feel like I would like take the put money. Pornhub out of business <laughs> <laughs> at that point <laughs> 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 yeah, that's uh, rough bro. Uh, that's rough it. that's um, uh, that's but that's what you were facing us with so No you're right you're right See, the thing that get, the thing that like gets me is that I would uh, probably travel, okay, and then just seeing my kids, kids, the generations. I think that, I mean, I know sports is huge. That would suck, though. I'm gonna say this right now: if somebody gave me a hundred million dollars, I could spend it, bro. I would yeah, be buying three million dollar fucking Bugatti. <laughs> I mean, like, I would bite through that shit so fast, dude. I could find some fucking way to spend that money. My my grandkids ain't seeing that shit, dude. That's They're gonna be fucking that working at Walmart. Re- that's gonna be doing whatever they gotta do, dude. It's it's like, I'm spending that money, yeah. bro. I'm gonna have beach houses. Man, oh, yeah, of course. I'm going to have a house in let me say, Ireland or some but weird it, but shit. But if you were smart, though, you would invest and let that money just keep, and then you could just extend it. Bro, like. You would just spend bro, it. Bro, life expectancy is 72. If you give me, uh, if hypothetically, I'm a, You get 100 years. You get hypo- a guaranteed. Uh, years, you get a guaranteed part. 100 years. So. I'd be broke you, by 30 years in. <laughs> 30 years. <in. laughs> so it wouldn't matter, dude. I'd be poor for the last seventy, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. I no feel way, like dude. I honestly, I would have to have hockey. I hate no this. Way. I hate to say this. I don't mean to get like on the pedestal or anything. Do but it. You would get. You would get bored. Honestly, oh, yeah. yeah. You take away like st- one thing that you love Correct. for hundred million dollars. It'll be amazing for like five years. Yeah, and then you can travel all you want. At I mean, some point, you're gonna get bored. Yeah, if that, I, I mean, it's if gonna it, be amazing watching your kids, but for you personally, you got another what ninety years to live. Like, what are you gonna do? Yeah, you just like, watch. What the fuck am I gonna do? Dude? Just record them growing up. Like, it's yeah. yeah I think there's, I think there's more go, to be said than, be for yeah. for Jerry just values money so much, dude. There's more, there's more to be said for <laughs> earning it. I think you it's son of a little... bitch. I didn't mention that money once. I mentioned the time. I, I value the time more than anything in experiences. But uh, great question, Jerry. That was a great question. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a really good that question. Was. All right. I also would very would, heated debate. Would rather play in the NHL for a year. I think. That'd be so sick. Yeah. All right, but now would you guys sick. would you guys pick Flyers too? Yeah. You would pick Flyers. See, would pick Flyers. You Absolutely. didn't answer. Did you pick Flyers? Uh, yeah. 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 I did. I have to. I did. Yeah, I don't see why I wouldn't pick the Flyers. You got to pull that sweater over that that fucking P. You have to have it, dude. Yeah. See. See. I like. I don't know. Got to, dude. I would go. 
I mean, Madison Square Garden is cool, though. Yeah, but you can play an away game <laughs> as the, on the Flyers. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, four times All right, so then I got to yeah. think geographically. Maybe I would go, like, Kings or something. Well, nah, LA sucks. LA sucks. Yeah, but you don't have to <laughs> live in LA. If they had, like, a San Diego team, I'd be down Ooh, for that. San Diego. But you can live in San Diego and just... Mm, that's no? a, that's a How far drive. is that? How far is that? You're going to take a helicopter and... <laughs> <laughs> we know how that goes. <laughs> Sorry, bud. But, uh, yeah, that's true. You gotta, yeah. I don't know, I man. What is, What would be the best? What's like the best NHL city to live in? I think Nashville is probably yeah. up there. Ooh, Nashville's, Nashville's cool. cool. Miami would Nashville. be fun, too. Yeah. Miami would be fun. Nah. No? Nah? No? Nah. 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 I don't. Tampa's nice. Um, if you're just trying to like retire <laughs> and chill, <laughs> chill with old um, people, yeah. But like, I don't know. Well, you, if like, you play in hockey, you don't want to live in Florida. To play yeah, hockey. that's it's, true. You know, I think Nashville, Nashville would be Nashville's really pretty cool. Sweet. Are you a country fan or? Uh, I like all music, but yeah. that's not like my go-to. He that's just loves I Nashville. Enjoy, you know? like, I love uh, Nashville. I've never been there. I want to go. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I if you're not like, it's right on the rink's right on Broadway, right? Like, so, like, mm-hmm. you're downtown. The sick part about Nashville is, like, I went to a Flyers-Predators uh, game in Nashville, and when the game ends, everyone just leaves the arena and goes to the bars downtown. Yeah, like, that's pretty it's, cool. It's like you just walk right to it. It's not like you have to get in a car, take a bus or whatever. It's right there. And uh, it's pretty chill. It's kind of busy now lately, but um, I might go there in September. But anyway. I think we should go you Nashville. Can we start looking into that? Let's I go. tried already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did, did you I reached out. That, That's yeah. been on the list for That's quite some cool. time, yeah. Because literally I was picking like the places. That's why we tried. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. <laughs> well, you give me all this beer. Tampa. I've tried Nashville. Yeah. Like places that you would want to kind of go. Um, Accessible. Yeah. An easy, quick flight. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Vegas would be sick. Vegas would be. I sick. might want to play in Vegas. The way if I'm if ten years younger. The way they're building it up. Vegas. The way I'm they're going building to Vegas, it up now. I'm not playing hockey. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I do thought you, Boston do you was the coolest. Uh, yeah. I what do you play? Because I'm, <laughs> I'm a big gambler too. I play blackjack, man. Okay. I, I play like, craps here and there. I like craps. So the thing with craps that gets me is the the betting changes, and I don't understand. Like I I play the outside. Usually I just play the outside. I play a few numbers, but it's like sometimes I have a uh, like a stack. And then they're like, oh, you have five more dollars on that. I'm like, why? It's like the same thing. Like, I can't get the there's, betting we, of it. There's a lot yeah. that goes into craps. Yeah. You know? Bro, I can't understand craps. I don't know what it is. I understand I like, it like 60% of it. <laughs> I don't get Do it. Do you know you know what I understand about craps is when I'm fucking, when I, when I was super drunk and everyone's getting really rowdy around the craps table. And then I just hang out by the craps table and everyone's all fucking excited. Yeah, and you're yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, it is a lot of fun. Yeah, we're on the same team. It's, sure. like a, it's a team game. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because you, yeah, you play with each other. Yeah, you're you, playing you against. You win as a team. You right. play poker yeah. at all? I, I do, but I mean, I wouldn't say I, I play, play, right, but right, I, right. I enjoy it. Recreational. Yeah, Can I we do. have uh, UHL? Oh, please, bro, night. please. Go. We have to. Can we have UHL poker tournament? We have to. Uh, yeah, but it's got, it's got to be like just Texas, like straight Texas. Yeah, of course. Oh, sure. yeah, 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 of course. You have yeah. to get something that's like, no, I wouldn't do like Omaha. Or no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Texas, on, but Texas right. is cool. Listen, dude. We'll have to hire a... Your, your line mate deals poker. Oh yeah, Bruce. Yeah, Bruce, oh, he does. Bruce he, does. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah, works dude. in. Uh, uh, I've casino. played. Yeah. yeah, I've played with him dealing at the table. Oh, so. we gotta set it up. Um, That's pretty cool. I would, I would 100 percent win that safe. tournament. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> ten out of ten times. Shut <laughs> up, dude. Oh my god, it's a god. bold statement. Yeah, that is a bold statement. He's very confident. I, in his in I've, I haven't seen them yet, but he must let's go, go dude. Huh? I'm not. No. All right, put it on the whiteboard. That's uh, that's dude, that's something. If there's one thing, it's like in the, in the nose. Oh, I don't know, dude. Like you know, you that ten thousand hour rule. Yeah, yeah. I play a lot of poker. I got you. I feel I you. You play online and stuff. Hmm? You play online. I I literally haven't played poker in probably like a year, two years. But you're still that confident. Yes, yeah. I stopped playing. But um, right around COVID time. But I did play online like like ridiculous. Did you guys ever yeah. play three card poker? No. I love three card. Three card is so much fun. But that's one of the games like you can win so fast, but then you could also lose I that quick. I was though. watching that's you when we that's were what, at. Yeah, yeah, we, <laughs> we did it when, when, when I went there. <laughs> Where the hell did we go? Park. We went to the Flyers game. But what's it was Park. Yeah, it was par- no, 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 live, live, yeah. live. It was. And live. I was watching it. And I'm trying to follow it, and I fucking could not understand what the hell was going. Yeah, on. I did. I did. <laughs> How fast did I win that money? 
And then I was like, all right, we're done. But it didn't it was, seem like it, it was, was fun. there was really any poker strategy to it. No, there's not. It's like, <laughs> <There's laughs> what the fuck's it, the force? It, it really, it, yeah, yeah, that's just gambling. Sometimes that that's just oh, gambling. There, no, no, there's no skill to that. It's just luck. That's and why then, That's why I like poker is because it's not so much gambling as it is. There's luck involved, obviously. Right. But at you're the end. You're playing against other. Yeah, you're, playing, you're, right, yeah. than, you're not, you're not playing, playing against the house. But yeah, but you can, the better player typically comes out on top. Yeah. No Over long what. enough, that's, you can't expect to win ten out of ten times. Hey, that's an exaggeration. Okay, but at least eight. I'm out glad of 10. you had finally admitted that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, well, still, he's, still he's still pretty confident. confident. Yeah, you're still pretty confident. We can go down. You guys want to go down? I mean, we probably can't sit at the same table, but <laughs> we'll I mean, play poker. We can be back to back. <laughs> I'm down. I'm gonna do a house. We can do a house tournament. We have to do yeah, a house yeah, tournament. Let's do it. It's a decent table. I mean, it's square. It's not really great, but well, we're gonna have how many guys? We're gonna have to run out a fucking hall or something, dude. We're going to just rent out the rink, dude. We should fucking set out the rink, dude. Just set up tables on the ice, dude. On the ice. <laughs> Holy nice. shit. All right, we'll add that to the list. Dusty right, will right. be out there dealing. Good, Jar. be really fun, dude, yeah. honestly. That's it, man. That's it. That's, that's all it. That's all about yeah, Ross. Sorry, well dude. done, as always. Thanks, uh, Ross. Sir. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Anytime. I do all want right. to bring up something Oh, about Ross Bryan. So, Ross Bryan, you are, I don't know if you know this. <laughs> I'm not sure if you do, so I'm just going to say it. Um, you are the leading scorer in UHL history. What? UHL That's history, sweet. baby. Uh, Let's go. I will say you are getting pretty close to the 50 goal mark. Okay. Ooh. Which I'm trying to, you know, you know, 50 goals is a big deal. All right. You should give out coins like uh, like an AA. Like it's going to take me 10 years to get 50 <laughs> goals, dude. But, uh, <laughs> Same, dude. <laughs> uh, you got 41 goals, 31 assists, 75 points. Uh, average about four points per game throughout your UHL history. So uh, pretty cool. I thought that was pretty sweet. Um, and only 19 games played, which, that man, that seems low. But I guess that's, that's about right. So yeah. we've only had, you know. Uh, that's just miss a, a few here and there. Yeah, it doesn't include playoffs or anything like that. So uh, I mm-hmm. thought that was pretty sweet. So you got nine goals. Uh, what do you got? Uh, four games left in the season. So you should pretty much hit that. <laughs> I, would imagine, so. I, I hope so. Unless you know, <laughs> yeah, not like that last week. Cool. Uh, you anyway. make Ross blush. But honestly, <laughs> that is like it. Uh, like I, I understand you're humble, but it's fucking sick because I can't score for shit. I don't. I got to playing Shut open up, hockey right. and I can't score. What? You have so many goals this season. You're also don't a def- you? but I'm you're not. I'm not that dependable of a of a of a point producer. You know what I mean? Like it's just consistent. But you're know. on defense, <laughs> so you're not supposed to. In reality, right? I'm just saying. You know, I'm just relating to. What do you, you play? You, you center or winger? Center. Center. Usually, yeah. center. So Larry, I should have uh, done, done better homework, but yeah, sorry. Yeah. I, I'm not there. I don't know what it is. Dude, no matter what I do, when I face off, when I do face offs <laughs> against this guy, yeah, yeah. he beats me clean every time, dude. And I'm like, I don't you even know what it you, is, dude. And I go up to the face off circle and I'm like, all right, I know what he's going to do. He's just going to literally <laughs> fucking clean beat me backhand to the D guy. You and fell I'm, off, dude. You used to be nice with the face off. I know. I don't get to play center that often. Everyone yeah, fucking yeah. wants to be center all the time. Well, you're going against hands of an angel. Like, what do you, what do you, <laughs> you think expect? Yeah, I just don't you understand it, dude. I used to be really. I used to probably be like sixty-seven. You were. You were pretty consistent. With I it. was, but I don't get to play. I'm always playing wing, and I fucking hate wing. One, I hate wing because I can't play along the boards, no matter what. I get to save it's my tough. life. It's it's, tough. I like playing in the middle of the ice, mm-hmm. and but everyone always wants to play wing, and I'm like, all right, I want to play center. I'm sorry, but like, I guess I'll play wing. I feel like I would prefer wing, but. Can no, I, I can I ask a rusty question because it's going to be like yeah. kind of a silly silly question. So I'm a righty, right? Mm. What's what position? What wing is better to play on the left side or the right side? <sighs> it all depends, really. I was going to say it's preference. I feel like like Let's if you're in the defensive zone, you probably want to play on the right side. So when you're skating up the ice, your uh, forehand is kind of to the play. Okay, and you're skating up the ice, but uh, if you reverse it and then the uh, Offensive zone, you'd want to play on the left side, so you're kind of opened up to the net mm-hmm. on yep. the left side. Mm-hmm. Correct. Gotcha. So, I, so I play left, but then I feel, I guess, because I can't skate that well. So but you're, like, you're like you a were sniper, telling me, right? So you were telling me on the left side. You want to be on the, right. yeah. okay. the left side because you're going to be facing. You're going to be opened up to the play, and you can see. You basically what Ross was saying, like what Ross was saying, is like you want to be able to be able to see. What's going on in front of you as you're facing? And I guess you have better angles if you're on the left Mm -hmm. because you can for shooting wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, for for shooting shooting wise, that makes sense. Okay, and you're a sniper. Once you get better skater, maybe you want to be playing. You know, it doesn't matter really. Yeah, I got you. But 
But what he said is, it's tough. That's that's what things. That's what sucks about wing is like you're mm-hmm. fucking like you know. At one point, you're at a disadvantage no matter where you are, where you are. But makes yeah. sense. You know. Okay. Anyway, that was my rusty question. I would the prefer day. when I play right because I'm a right handed shot. I like I take the right side, but I also can't if the fucking puck comes wheeling around the boards. I miss it <laughs> half the time. Dude. It's, it's like, a tough play, dude. You know what I mean? It's a tough play because I'm trying to get on my backhand, dude. And they used to have like nice square toe sticks where you can just jam it up along the boards and it would stop the puck you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but I now still, i still use a square toe, you still yeah. use square yeah. toe? Okay. Oh, yeah. but like now it's like you know and then it slips underneath your fucking blade and the, uh, anyway i, <laughs> I just <laughs> hate fucking much. playing wing honestly but all right anyway um so oh, i wanted to say sorry larry's got eight goals in eight games <laughs> so this guy who's saying he can't the season fucking do, yes i had a couple i had a couple good games but it doesn't happen often though I wouldn't say that. Humble. The, the, eh, I don't know. Not the goal scoring, though. You know me. I'm shooting like over the net half the time. Yeah, but you've been getting the water bottles lately. Yeah. Like I said, I had a couple good games this season. But speaking, anyway. Speaking of water bottles. Damn it. We got, I know. But we got a nice Speaking one. of water bottles. <laughs> yeah, speaking right. of water bottles. Oh, yeah. We do have the uh, mm-hmm. little camera sure. here now. Yeah. I don't know. They're, are they smaller than we expected? or No. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Ross, you need a beer or anything? No. I know Jerry's not being a very good guest. He's got that scotch and you know, we took a shot earlier. Brew of the day, you know. That's it. <laughs> it's, it was actually pretty good. I finished it. I, it was, I yeah. Did you? Yeah, I don't I'm typically like it. It is good. I might even bring it up to a seven. Yeah, but then again, it's like hard to, well, for me anyway, it's like what beer is actually shitty. Like, yeah. It's alcohol. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. This guy's always got, you always got a uh, harsh, harsh criticism. But we beers, do right? have them in our yeah. nice UHL koozies. Yeah, that we will be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I'm doing a little advertisement. All right. All right. All right. Speaking right. up, speaking up. Right. No, wait, real quick. No, I'm just kidding. Go. We made an <laughs> announcement. We made an announcement last week. Uh, ice hockey beginners level up your hockey game at the Rusty Minicamp this July. Uh, Linux. Jo- Rusty Minicamp this July. Join us at the Flyers Training Center for expert coaching, exciting drills, and a supportive environment, as we often do with the Rusty League. Uh, polish your skills in basic skating, shooting, and stick handling. Uh, progress to advanced techniques like passing and skating, and elevate your game in the third week with uh, dynamic drills focused on odd man rushes, systems, and team-oriented play. So that sounds good. Uh, don't miss out. Register <laughs> now at uhlhockey.com slash clinics. Flexible options are available. What are you laughing at? Everybody? Yes. No, that was, that Starts was July 6th. Yeah, I was, I was going to get into some more deets, um, you know, later, but check out the, uh, the that website there and you get the uh, pricing plans. I'm about to say, go over, go over the pricing because I think it's a really good deal if you do the three day. All right. I guess we're just diving right UH in. Diving hockey. right in. UHLHockey.com slash clinics. Yeah. You can find it under the registration tab right. on our website. Yeah. So that's going to be July 6th, the 13th, and the 20th. It's a three week mini camp. Uh, yes. $100 for all three, or you can do uh, single sessions for 40 bucks. So. Hundred dollars for three is pretty sweet. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's a steal. Yeah, I think that's a that's a good deal. It, uh, yeah, for sure. Especially uh, you know, getting guided skills and practice and stuff like that. I mean, shit, I know fun. I need it. It's really just yeah. ice time, dude. When you're really learning how to play in the beginning, you just need as much time on the ice as possible. Totally. Yeah. So if for yeah. hundred bucks, you're good to go. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna make you skate. It's gonna be a bag skate. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Can't wait. All right, uh, should we get into? Uh, it's that time of. Um, I was, I was going to say something else, but players of the month. <laughs> Should we get into it? <laughs> uh, we can, dude. I don't know if what I'm do ready for this, honestly. Why not? I don't know. I've been kind of debating who's who's the player of the month. You want to open up the debate or you want to just... <clears throat> you want me to just tell you who Be cryptic are? about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. I mean, if you want to start with gold. Yeah, start with gold. So, I know... Um, hold on. Let me pull up the filters. I know that Cole Zucker was on a tear, and I'm not a part of that world anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, he's dude. Yeah, uh, I think he had so he had ten goals, seven assists in four games, so four point two five per uh, points per game. Mm-hmm. Um, his yeah, line point. mate, or no? <laughs> all right, so Brian Etter plays defense, he's on right? Defense, yeah. <laughs> but Brian, see, Brian Etter had the same amount of points on defense. Yeah. So to me. Point getters on defense is like, I don't know. What do you think? Like, it's harder, right? It's it, it, it is harder. It is, and it, it is. You yeah. know, it's obviously to score goals. Yeah, on defense, yeah. But yeah. for the assists, you know, if you're a elite defenseman, you should be up there every time. Yeah, you know, start yeah, that, start that the play, true. moving it true. up. 
So basically, they hit the inverse. So Cole had ten goals, seven assists. Edder had seven goals, ten assists. Yeah. So still seven that's, goals yeah, in four that's games. Impressive. That's yep. pretty. They're good. Both, they're like that's watching the. There's a couple guys in that team. I'm just like, I just sit back. I'm like, all right, I uh, got it. <laughs> 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 I'm just here. Hey, yeah, dude. Um, I would, you know, I probably would lean towards uh, Zuck only because he had, uh, I think, ten points the month before. I, in abbreviated yes, months, he was, yeah, he's been so. Yeah. Uh, as for, if we if we're gonna have a tiebreaker, I probably would chalk it. You know, tie the tiebreaker would be go to consistency. Mm-hmm. Um, more points throughout the whole season, right? And he's number sixty eight. So I mean, uh, <laughs> questions. Um, so he's got twenty seven points total, uh, and only three weeks before that he had eight goals. So he's been pretty consistent. Yeah. Um, throughout that whole deal. Nah, so. he's the man, dude. I would totally. You know, and nice guy. Super yeah, nice no, guy. I, I would totally uh, lean towards Cole for that. Are we good with for that? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Applause. <laughs> there it is. Congrats, Cole. Uh, what did we get for uh, Player of the Month? A uh, fifty dollar gift card to the UHL shop. Fifty dollars, dude. Yeah, buddy. That's a lot. All right. Anyway. Um. All right. So let's go to silver. Um. I have a familiar face. Familiar face, Bascal. <laughs> Well, you know, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either, dude. I don't know, dude. It's he's, like, been, he's been stacking his points somehow. I don't know what he's doing. He stacks his points in every, you know, both teams that he plays on. But here's why I wouldn't go Bascal for playing the we're not. silver. Because he is like... Spoiler alert, we're not. He's a gold player. <laughs> right? Yeah, but... But here's the problem. You know who's second? Yeah, I know. Let's see. <laughs> Brett Vitterini, Fuck, who dude, also dude. won. Uh, third is Ross Bryan, but Ross Bryan played two less games than, than Brett. So uh, Ross had 3.33 points per game across three games, three goals, seven assists. Brett had nine goals, six assists. But uh, Damn. To, to be fair, Ross, Ross uh, won last month, Team yeah. Dexter is undefeated. Um, So I don't know, dude. What do you guys think? I don't know. First, we gave it to Ross last month. Did we? So he got nah, you're out of luck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, with that all being said, Brett got it last season for Team Dexter, and mm-hmm. Rob, Mister Cal, got it for Savage Monkeys last season. So, and MVP. You know, and MVP. God damn it, these guys. I know, dude. Uh, I will make a shout out. Uh, Dan Rhodes, seven goals Yo. in uh, five games, which is pretty good for the Warriors. And the Warriors are making a little bit of a push. Um, Andy Rhodes, you know. They're a they're a handful. I don't know what it is. Uh, oh, you guys, you guys, you guys uh, took them down a couple weeks ago. We, every time we play them, it's like it's like annoying. It's an annoying game. It is. Annoying it's just an annoying game. game. I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know this guy named Steve Vaines. He had one goal, seven oh assists. My God. <laughs> he, had eight, he had two points per game in in uh, the month of June. I don't know. Anyway, did you really? I did. Look at you, buddy. I did. I, have a, I got new skates. Man. I gotta say, <laughs> there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of silver guys at the top. Other than the usual suspects. <sighs> I, I mean, I'm okay with giving it to Brett. It's got to be. Yeah, it's got to I be. I mean, Brett they're undefeated. Cal. You can't really. They are undefeated. Ed Basco, uh, this is through the Hawks, and we lost the game to Dexter. Yeah. So, uh, tiebreaker. It's settled. They both had nine goals. To be fair. It's uh, been settled. Hold on. Sorry. Basco had not the same amount of points in one less game. Yeah. Uh, You know. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give it to Brett. But <laughs> Brett, Brett, sorry, buddy, we're not giving you a gift card. You got <laughs> enough. Like, oh, okay. You got enough, buddy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dude. All, All right. right, so Brett, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, Brett. God damn it, dude. <laughs> God damn it. Can we give him a, a dusty puck? That's all you get, dude. You get a dusty puck. Dude. You get a dusty puck. I love that. that. I love Brett, dude. I appreciate uh, everything that Brett does oh, yeah. uh, for us. He's a big supporter of the league. Mm-hmm. Um, as big of a goon as he is, uh, he's a big softy. He's a big, nice guy. I, I love yeah, Brett. he's a big supporter, all right. for sure. So let's um, let's go down to uh, Bronze. Yeah, there's quite a few. So okay. we have Justin Kreifels. Mm-hmm. Kreifels from the Ghost Platoon. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had 16 points in five games. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know the record. I don't think it's very good. But he's been individually been pretty good. Um, um, Bobby Strauss. Uh, he Did he win it last month? Yeah, he won last month. Got it. Uh, big ups to Bobby. He's been very consistent. He was very good last night, too. He scored uh, in a goal 
he scored a really nice deflection goal in a game last night in the Browns. Right. Right. Uh, eight goals, four assists for 12 points. Ghosts are two and five. Sheep, although. Two and five uh, in yeah, the on, season. On the season, yeah. Two, five, and one, probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and then Sheep Hockey, right? Mm-hmm. So, I honestly am leaning towards uh, a couple of these Paisanos guys. Yep. I could say that because I can agree with that because they are been on tear. They we, are, yeah. We beat them in game one, I think, or our bronze team beat them in game one, mm-hmm. and then they've won every game since. Right. So, uh, Chris Corsaro. That doesn't, is that, that sounds kind of Italian. Cors, Corsaro. Yeah, it Corsaro. does. It does. Say it, Jerry. You going to be a part of this or no? I'm I'm trying to figure out these the <laughs> Jesus, filters, dude. man, to try to get it for the, the <laughs> so month. You gotta <laughs> like you gotta change the date to six two to six thirty, <laughs> apply it, and then no, go six back two, to six, six one. one. It's really f- kind of weird. That's what I did. Uh, All right, what's what's the name? <laughs> Corsaro. <laughs> Corsaro. Is it Christopher Corsaro, eh? All right, all yeah, right. there you go. Uh, Who's their goalie? Grazie. Who's their goalie? How's he looking? Trent Booth. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's been playing well? Yeah. I'm gonna go with Chris Corsaro because he had five goals, seven assists. Frank Restagno. Restagno. Right? Restagno. There you go. All right. Ten goals, one assist. Now, that's just a little uneven to me. Yeah. And he had 15 penalty minutes, so. That's more for me. I got you. Um, I got you. Yeah. I'm good with uh, Chris Corsaro. Damn. I feel like we already picked Brett, but we should have looked at Robbie's stats before we did this. Who? Robbie's the goalie. Their goalie. Oh. You know what I mean? What? We should have looked at his stats. I love giving a goalie player of the month. You know? Robbie who? For Dexter. Mangini for, on Team Dexter. Oh, he did have a shutout. Yeah, a shutout against us. A- against who? who? Who was it against? Yeah, shutout, shutout against dude. us. And he's leading shutout. He's leading, goal, he's leading all goalies with point nine. I know. With, I always forget about the goalies. That's my bad. I love giving the goalies yeah, one. Respect, they're, so. Yeah, dude. They're so I, valuable. I think, I think, I think Sorry, Brett dude. would be okay with splitting I think Brett, it. I think Brett would appreciate. What about giving 25 each? He definitely would. 25 each? All right, no, 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 yeah, no. no, no. <laughs> if, I could, right. if I could take Sorry, this away Brett, from I Brett, <laughs> I will, dude. So yeah. Robbie was four and zero with a two point two five goals against shutout, a shutout, and a ninety four percent. Okay, that's Robbie's. Yeah, sorry, Brad. Oh, sorry. man, on the air, <laughs> just, just walking it back. Sorry, I, I think because it's Team Dexter's goalie, I think I think he'll be all right with nah, that. Sorry, yeah, Brad. Yeah, he respects him too. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Robbie was sick, dude. Dude, he crushed us when we played. <laughs> we lost two nothing hey, to them. Shut you out. Yeah, yeah, how many how many saves did he have? He had thirty something. He had thirty seven, but they yeah. were like solid. Dude, like we were every time I was, I had like three or four open shots. He had the entire net covered. He's not even that big of a dude. Like he just the net's completely covered. To be fair, he's nineteen years old. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but still, that's fucking impressive. You know, see me when he's thirty four, bro. <laughs> he ain't making that save when he's thirty four. I guess he's not like Mark. Stop you know? it, dude. <laughs> yeah, but no, I would take yeah. Respect shout out to for Mark. both of them, you know. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's for respect for goalies, I'm just bro. Just throwing that. Out there. It does. It's a factor, bro. When I was ni- you throw me into this league at nineteen, and I'm I'm gonna at least be double what I got. Maybe not. Maybe like twenty. Ooh, Larry's uh, making a face. Larry's. You don't even know me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bro. I used to be fast. I, don't, I really don't. I have no idea. Fucking what fast, like. dude. dude poker tournament. He could take everything. He could do everything, man. I would win every player of the month, bro. This guy does everything. <laughs> I'm just. So, I'm he so does waiting, it all. Dude. I'm just fucking with you guys. He's CEO. What are we doing, dude? dude? Poker tournament. We're going, right, so we're going Robbie for silver player of the month, and then we're going uh, Chris Corsado. Oh, we're going Corsaro. You made that decision. All right, sorry. I think I was. I think I was. I think I. Dude, rewinded. he vetoed everyone. He didn't even ask for. I an think I, re- I. think I rewinded back as you guys were discussing. All that, right, so. all right. Uh, you know, I will. All right, so let's. Uh, we'll jump down to bronze or rusty. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. You know, rusty. Jerry, you're up there, buddy. Well, you keep you keep uh, canceling our game. So I mean, it's like I didn't cancel. Yeah, shit, definitely dude. one game. I yeah. We had yeah, what? How many games do we have this? I month? two three. Uh, I will say, in the month of June, Jerry Kotopetis, Jerry the Greek. Let's go. Number Stop, one dude. in points. Stop. Stop. Dude. Dude. Really? Stop. I still can't get the four goals. Filters to work. I want to see my <laughs> name we got, him, we got him on enough of our four shit. Four goals, three assists <laughs> in in the month of June. Let's oh, go. Four yeah. goals, three assists. What a plot twist. It Greg is a plot Jerry, twist. dude. The face of the rusty Look league. I can't have any respect, but Jerry gets player of the month. Dude. I don't know what it is, dude. Uh, wow! Uh, right behind him was Tom McDevitt with five goals, one assist. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mark 
with four goals, two assists. I think Mark won it last month. Uh, Mark won last month, yeah. yeah. I think you got to give it to Tom. Oh, He's humble. got five goals, right. one assist. Yeah, but, but here, here's the thing why I think he should get it is because, like, Because he, we gave you enough free shit. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> right. listen. <laughs> You don't Listen, need a gift certificate. No, I don't need a gift certificate. Right. But I think he, I, I think he's really valuable to that team. Like, he is. It, and when you know he was, they were missing, um, they were missing players. Like he, he stepped up, played defense. Like he, he does, he does whatever he can for that team. So I, I think, it. I think he deserves. What it um, what was the rest? So three games were played in June. Mm-hmm. What was the split? So was it two and one, Rusty, Rusty Wolves? Correct. Uh, okay. Two one, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm good with Tom. I'd be, I'd be happy to get uh, it to been Tom. Working, working pretty hard. He stepped up to be the captain of the Wolves. He did that. step up. Yeah, that's the other thing. No, no maybe he didn't. You know, he didn't play defense. He played offense. Um, but yeah, he did. Yeah, he's having. He he stepped up. He's the captain. Um, yeah. And to be fair, hold on, Jerry. So he, yeah, I think what to be I mean, fair, what? Hold on a second. Dead air. Yeah, it is dead air. <laughs> so let me let me. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. had a you had a game with. Uh, what? Three goals. You had five points in one game. Right. So five of your seven points came from one game. That's okay. That's okay. Right. I'm just That's saying, okay. like, let's talk about the month Overall, of the month. Well, I, I'm the one advocating for Tom. I think, you know, <laughs> the captain of the Wolves should So Tom it. had two points, Especially three points, and right. one point in the loss. They ha- right. They have a winning record. They scored one goal in that loss, and he had an assist. So Yeah. I mean, listen, you know. I, think he, uh, I think he deserves it. All right. I yeah. Think get it. Tom McDevitt. Congratulations, no. buddy. Woo! Yeah. There you go, Tommy. I love yeah. that. I love that. Runner Sorry. of me for summer. What's Say that again? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, run it back, Steve. Did you write them down? Mm, no. <laughs> uh, Cole Zucker for gold. Yes. Robbie Mangini for silver. Yes. Chris Corsado from Paisanos. Paisanos. <laughs> bronze. And yeah. Tom McDevitt for Rusty. Let's go. Love that. All right. Cool. All right, um, next is league updates. Now, we just ran through stats uh, for mostly everybody um, for at least the last month. Uh, there's been no rusty games. And how long has it been? Two a weeks. Week, two weeks. Two, which is crazy. It's a it's long been long. two weeks, yeah. dude. What? You guys are going to regress, dude. It has yeah. been two weeks because then we're missing this. No, because we're missing this week because of the holiday. On Sunday, it'll be <laughs> two weeks. Right, and then the following week when we actually play again is how many weeks, Stephen? What do you want me to do, dude? You want me to fucking turn the power like real the argument, dude? Oh, all, they cancel the game. I can't fucking control. No, that. I know, I know. Just, this is this is this is it, juicy. It's it's a bit, Steve. Uh, speaking of, <laughs> stop with the bits. Speaking of, you guys are gonna have to not play on Sunday. You have, to, you have to pick a different night. Why for makeup games? Oh, makeup games. There's fun. only so many Sundays in a month, Jerry. Yeah. Well, <laughs> luckily, well, we're playing Thursdays for the. Hopefully, a lot of uh, rusty players will play um, the next three weeks. Okay, the, the mini camp. Yeah, so is that Thursdays? Thir- Sorry, yeah. So <laughs> Thursdays is out. Um, All right, I, I will get with you, yeah. Rusty Commission. Because we have and three three makeups or two, just two. one. <laughs> no, because mem- we canceled Memorial Day weekend. Did you? Yeah, we oh, did. Fuck, dude. Yeah, we have two. We have two All makeup right. games. You're gonna do a double header. Yo, that would be fun. That would be fun. That would be interesting. It would. He's saying no. <laughs> He's saying no. Uh, no, we, we got to get together and reschedule this. Yeah, yeah, we will. <laughs> so I'll get. Yeah, we'll we'll figure something out. Ross, you thought about throwing the pads on for a rusty goalie or what? Let's go. Why not? Right? Why not? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever played, Have you ever played goalie at all? Uh, I did one time. I one like time, super young. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I did an in house. That was the only time I played before. That's what I would yeah. I was ha- super young. It, yeah, it, it, might, be, it <laughs> might be time. Yeah. Yeah, let, let me know. You know, feel free. Dude, we're, we're making a list. <laughs> I'm already retired from playing golf. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, no, are you? I'm you're fucking not, retired. You're not dude. done. You're in the rotation. I don't like. I don't like the disrespect I received, dude. Oh my god, I'm over that. Stop, you guys. I don't like the disrespect. All right, can we talk about it? Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. He's, he's fucking all right. So it. hold on. Let's talk about this. Oh my so God. all right. So I have a game. Right. Second game, not that great. Let's be honest. I let in a couple goals that was terrible. Okay. But also, I had forty saves. Forty okay. saves, and then the next week, right? Bascal 
goes in and you guys play fucking lights out for some reason. He has 14 fucking muffins thrown at him <laughs> and he gets the game of the the log of the game right, or whatever so the fuck can, it is. Can it's I, like, and he gets all this attention can for I, fucking 13 can, easy <laughs> saves well, can that I, I could have fucking made. <laughs> and, I made 40, yeah. and I made 40, but I let in eight or whatever it is, can I, when you guys didn't know how to play defense, can I speak and to I it? get this bullshit, oh, oh, you're not playing next week. I was like, fuck you, man. I was fucking floundering first, out there, First dude. of all, I did not say that. I did I'm not, done with this, dude. I did I not say you couldn't play. I did not say that you could it's not bullshit, play. Bullshit, I did not say that you couldn't play. <laughs> it's I, turn. I wanted to keep the rotation. I want the rotation of the goalies going. So it's you, uh, Baskow, and Matt, right? I'm re- I'm retired. So. You're not retired. Shut, <laughs> shut the hell. Shut up. All right. Tired second of, of all, slander, that's dude. hilarious. Second dude. of all, it is very difficult as a player to get. I'm tired to give out the, to to choose somebody from the log. So I saw one goal and I was like, the goalie must have done something decent, right? He made a couple good saves. That's a fucking noob decision. Though. Here's here's the second. <laughs> here's the second. That's when I actually had a good game, and I'm like, I'm not giving it to myself. Because I had, what, five points, you said, right? Why wouldn't you give it to yourself? Because I'm not that guy, man. I'm not going to say. <laughs> Shut up. You are I'm, definitely I, that I'm guy. I'm not going to look at everybody and be like, assholes, I'm taking the log. Take I a selfie the game, with yeah. the freaking log. No way. Everyone's what about sad. my coaching, dude? But, <laughs> I was a very good coach. He wants his respect. Dude. Yeah, he Come does. On, dude. He put some respect on his name. Bullshit. Dude. It was. It, he's helpful. I'm not. You guys say left me like out that. to dry. Can I be honest? Both my games. Left me out to dry. If I can go back. If I can go back, I would give it to Steve. Steve Carson. Oh, also, oh. <laughs> a different Steve. Not Steve. Yeah, not you. Why would you get it? Well, listen. I mean, I, don't, I didn't deserve he that had, one. But. No, exactly. <laughs> so he had a hat trick and an assist. He had four points. Mm-hmm. I would have given it to him. And he played defense. He was a defender. There you go. In hindsight, I should have gave it to him. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I was tired. I was just I was tired ex- of I was excited. I, I got a hat trick. I was like, but I can't give it to myself. So I, I gave it to Basket. I also want to address the fucking I uh, the slander I received via the Dexter podcast. Oh, because oh, we could go there. Brett oh. talked all kinds of shit and then let in 12 fucking goals <laughs> in a game where he faced the same amount of shots that I did. And he let in 12. So I hope that was a humbling experience, Brett, because... It's fucking hard back there, dude. Goalie's difficult. Yeah, that surprised me. Well, the fact is, it's hard. Listen, dude. the fact is, even though you guys have played hockey your whole life, it's you guys are still rusty level it, for goalie. It's just a position like that's what it is. So it's to ex- to be expected. Like you guys have those stats against you. Yeah. You don't. We don't have stats of how many times I eat shit on the ice <laughs> because I fall skating because I don't know how to skate. You know what I mean? So it's like that's respectable. Um, I wish. I wish I would have had. I would have been a net for that. For that game, yeah. When well, the wol- the Wolves play. were missing their second leading scorer and one of their defensemen, so you know they had to mm. they had to shift. So I agree with that. Listen, but we I also capitalized. Say that yeah, we played defensively. Well. You guys played better. absolutely. I'm not taking anything away from our defense because they played really well. We matched the lines. We did. You know, it was it was a good game, and you know we we scored. So like whatever. But I apologize. That you're upset. I'm still never playing again. You're playing again. Shut retired, up, dude. dude. We're, no, you're not retired. retired We're keeping dude. that rotation. You made me go up to freaking pure hockey to get you a stick, <laughs> which was like 45 minutes out of my way with traffic. So nice. you're playing. All right. All right. Keep the I'll rotation. Matt, you're next. Matt. <laughs> Matt's next. Matt was 100% worse than me, dude. <laughs> 100%. He was our first, right? First goal? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Matt's going to come yeah, to Matt, the uh, Rusty Clinic, great. dude. Yeah. As a goalie. I, he's, he expressed interest, didn't he? I don't know. You answered him on Facebook, so I think you do know. He did, but I don't know if he was serious <laughs> about <laughs> it. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Um, Anywho. G- game of the week. Um, I've While you guys have been uh, arguing, hashing out your rusty dispute. <laughs> do you actually have the game of the week this week? I want to give it to Sugar Bush. <laughs> what? Um, what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a few beers. I've been, I was drinking oh, really? at like five o'clock, dude. Yo, you guys, are, you guys yeah, are crazy, sorry. man. Yeah, I, I was taking a look at the Sugar Bush timeline. Uh, looks like they were able to pull away with a with a late goal to seal it. Um, there was a, there's been a, there's a couple contenders from this week, but <laughs> come on, dude. I want to throw some Sugar Bush some love, but I do want to want to um, add in another feature that we're going to be adding, and it's previewing the game of the week. Can we um, talk about the Sugar upcoming. Bush game? 
I, I just did. <laughs> that was really brief, dude. <laughs> Which one? The- Sugar Bush versus Ghost Platoon. 7-5? They won 7-5 to five to hang in in the fifth seed uh, for the standings. Ew. Uh, G- Ghost Platoon uh, took a 2-1 lead after the first period. Sugar Bush rattled off three unanswered in the second to go 4-2. to two. Uh, Period closed out 4-3. to three. Uh, game was tied with two minutes left. And Sugar Bush uh, scored the game winner with a minute and a half left. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I was about like to fucking so there you go. slander yeah. you, dude. And for then that it looks game. like they scored an empty netter at the end. But game winner oh, with a right, minute and a half gotcha. left, staying fifth seed in the Browns division. I don't know. Correct. You're right. Sounds like a good game to me. You know, You're right, dude. I just saw a couple of really close games in the gold. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I was looking at those. I, I wanted to. I wanted to uh, go with the Armada game. Um, just because I think night I think Night's Watch I did uh last week or the week before. But uh, not that that should matter, but I, I was leaning towards Armada, but it, the game wasn't really all that close it looks like. So, well Ross, you guys were losing. That was I, I watched that. I was going to say that was a good game too. You guys were losing to Bulldogs, right? Yeah, we, we <laughs> I think we were. I mean, for was, a while, <laughs> yeah. It was um uh 3 to or 3 to 2 I after we the le- second period. 3 No, I think it was 3-1 we were losing. Yeah. Pretty sure. Oh, wait, can I can I ask? Did a- Eric Berry really score that goal, <laughs> 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 or was it the other seventy-seven dude? So uh, that game, I wasn't really there. I went, you know, I was, you weren't playing. I mean, I was. But I, wasn't there. <laughs> I was there. I was partying all weekend, uh, three day right. bender. Fucking, you know, so like I really didn't. You know, I didn't know what was going on. I, I got you. Tired. But You're no, not even I do know it was a good that game. game. Oh, you got zero points that game. Yo, have you yeah, ever? I might, gone have, I might have had an assist. That's about it. Well, to change one. that, dude. Uh, <laughs> I don't like that, Get on live bar, Steve. Stop slacking. Go on live bar, yeah. <laughs> it says zero, dude. I don't know if you've ever gone zero games. But, but. That was a good game. I actually, I no, it was, it was a good game. And yeah. they, they played good. They did. Well, They're they, another they team. They're they tough. Did. They are really good, dude. And it's like, they were my pick for the fourth spot in, yeah. the, in the silver division. Uh-huh. But they keep blowing leads. Well, they kind of well, have a tough schedule. Kinda, yeah, they do. Yeah. They do, right? They do. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do to that? Dude? I don't know, dude. Yeah. Uh, they're two and we'll six. We'll see how I that mean, shakes out. They're three points out of a playoff spot with four games left. So, I mean, they they can make a run. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, they they definitely can. Yeah. I <laughs> hope so. Well, them, Koopas, and the Warriors all play at, like, a tougher game. So, we'll see how it shakes out. It should be interesting at the end. They play. We the- didn't really look through the standings uh, on this episode. I'm not sure if we've had any big changes or not, but. Not really. I know with silver, it's pretty consistent as far as the top three goes. <clears throat> Looks like well, otters, otters, otters have jumped into fourth. Yeah. Otter, it's really that spot, that fight for the fourth spot. Yeah. Gold's pretty much the same. Um, Death of the Fox sitting in second in bronze. Love that, dude. That's pretty cool. I yeah. But I haven't. the problem is I haven't caught a single Death of the Fox game, dude. <laughs> what but do you mean? I haven't seen any. I haven't yeah, been at the yeah. rank or, or seen any of them. So yeah. I'm assuming that they either added players that are that, yeah. or they're just playing well this season. I don't know. Yeah, because they cool, weren't a playoff season. They weren't a playoff team last season. Right, yeah. They like bounced back from last season uh, a little bit. You yeah. know. But do you want to go through uh Bronx? Uh as far as the standings go. That's really the closest division, honestly. It is. It's well, I the silver, like the four spot for silver is pretty cool. Um yeah. bronze shakes up a lot. Paisanos has kind of been just sitting up top there, but that's the Fox in second. Um, Stratosphere stars in third. We got Sheep in fourth and Sugarbush in fifth. Um, but Jersey Trash, one point behind Sugarbush for that fifth spot. So I think it's going to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but. It looks the, like a battle of three teams to get those two spots, basically. Yeah, but even uh, Camden County Warriors and Ghost with Tomb with five points can make a. They have four games left. You know what I mean? Yeah. So no, I, yeah, I agree. There's plenty of room to squeeze in. Yeah. So, um, Hellhounds got their first uh, win. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Chuggernauts are down in. When did they get that place? win? Hellhounds. Chug- Chuggernauts. I know. I know. Hellhounds just won. Chuggernauts. I don't know when they won. They won early on, I think, because they definitely got better. Yeah. Um, I know. Oh, that... they beat Cam the kind of Warriors. <clears throat> did they? Yeah. Wow. That's a that's a good win. Mm-hmm. They had a pretty good team. Um. So. I'm really interested to how four that five. four or five, uh, the four or five play in is gonna be pretty cool. That's so cool, yeah. Yeah, we're, you're only doing it for Bronzo, right? 
Only bronze because there's, there's 10, what, 10, yeah, 10, 10, 10 teams. teams. Yeah. I wanted to have like at least half the teams have a chance at yeah, playoffs. No, that's the way to do it. It's sure. pretty cool. Yeah, because I mean, it sucks. Like, I mean, it doesn't suck for us, but it's like, you know, added <laughs> costs for us. But like, yeah. I feel like the most fair thing would be um, that four or five. Given that opportunity. Yeah, you, you have to. A ten, it works. You know, the 10 teams I, in the division. I so want to see a fucking team pl- get the playing game and then make it all the way to the fucking finals. Yeah. That'd be sick. Miami Heat shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So one thing I want, I really do want to add, um, perhaps we'll get into it over these next couple episodes or not, but kind of doing like a previewing for the game of the week, especially with like the playoffs coming up and stuff. Um, and considering I have Rob going out to like the rusty game on Sunday, Mm -hmm. we're going to try to do like a video project with that. I thought it'd be cool to like have that featured as the game of the week. Let's go. Like preview it as the game of the week, and then you guys got to deliver. It's up to you. You better so, come fucking prepared. Listen, Jerry. I think I think we are riding high. We're riding this it's week. Like a, yeah, it's but like the, the, wol- the Wolves have a chip on their back now. They thought they were going to have it easy until we came <laughs> slinging. So I think I think it is going to be a good game. I mean, the, the, I the hope break, so. We'll see. There's only the, two goal difference between like in terms of goals scored and go, like your differential yeah. for rest goals is two, and mm-hmm. yours is negative two. Yeah, so. It's yeah. really close, like goals wise. Mm-hmm. I think it has to do with the goalies, but <laughs> he's so mad. <laughs> he's so mad at that. <laughs> has nothing to do with the goalies. <laughs> no, no, no. no. I think uh, uh, I think it's going to be a good game. I think. Uh, here's my yeah, prediction we'll for see. the Rusty. So I think I we'll think, both make the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, here's what I think, just from an evaluation Championship standpoint. Championship game, not just the playoffs. Th- that's though. it. That's <laughs> true. Yes. Correct. Uh, my evaluation. Take it as you you know as you want, but. I think the Rusty Wolf started at a very higher, much higher level, and the Dusty Beavers are working their way up to that level. So we're matching them. We're ma- we're, we're, getting, we're getting them. We're we're peaking. We're going up, Ooh. and they're kind of just, meep, you know, they plateaued. Yes, okay. and I think Dusty Beavers are going to take over. I hope so. I think I've seen so much uh, improvement, pro- improvement, and yeah. progression uh, from Dusty Beavers. Now, mind you, I haven't paid attention to the Rusty Wolves at all. So I'm sure there's plenty of guys on there who have gotten so much better. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But I haven't been on the bench. I haven't been playing for them. I don't know. Why don't we ask our coach who's been to one game? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) One game? What the fuck? I missed missed two. Yeah. How many of you guys played? We've only had (laughs) five games. I've played two. (laughs) I sent my message. I've been to every (laughs) one. Okay. (laughs) Cheers. Cheers. He's hard, bud. (laughs) Holy shit. All right, Kamesh, you got any notes over there? I got any notes, dude. <laughs> Come on, dude. Off the top. UHL Summer Series, July 14th. Oh, to get this guy some registrations, dude. Boom. Give me some registrations. Uh, we have <laughs> opened it up. Multiple tiers. Uh, we have Tier 1, A slash B plus, uh, a.k.a. Gold. Tier 2 is Silver, B slash C plus. Tier 3, C slash D. We open up Tier 4 is Over 40, B slash C. Um, we pretty much, uh, Holly does wide open that weekend. So we can have a million teams if we wanted to <laughs> if a million, we, if we could give a million teams, right? <laughs> a million. So, Holy shit. Don't, feel free to register, but, um, yeah, absolutely. uh, one thing we're doing is tournament, uh, referrals. So, uh, it's $1,500 per team. Uh, if you do refer another team, you get a hundred dollars off of your team fee. That's so, if you've already registered. Yes. So okay. if you're a team playing uh-huh. and you're going to pay uh, $1,500 or $1,400 if you are an existing UHL team. Right. Uh, you're for another team that registers and plays. You get $100 off if you – that's unlimited. So if you have – you re, you refer 10 teams, yeah. you'll get $1,000 off your team fee. <laughs> Did you right. open that up to uh, people who, who aren't in, the, in registered already? I thought I saw something in the email. So, but yes, you, you would get a me. gift certificate as okay. well. So um, thanks for throwing me, you know – I don't have that prepared, but what no, did no, I say? Yeah. Fifty dollars gift. Yeah, if you refer, if you refer a team and you're not playing in the tournament, you get a fifty dollars gift card to the, to the UHL shop. So it could be, you know, could yeah. happen to hear this and decide to promote it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so if you know a team that would want to play, if they register, even if you know a team that's gonna already register, but you want to take credit for it, you will get a yeah. gift. And for honestly, it. honestly, if you guys are just if you're worried about having a bad game or can't, can't figure out to <laughs> score, and you know it, it's not out of nowhere. Don't worry about it because you can take aim bar down the only bar of soap that makes you feel. <laughs> 
like you just scored a goal. So get to those Reggies and get in this tournament. It's going to be fun. Yeah, free bar is so big. Like fucking registers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real though. Uh, also that and the obviously uh, Larry talked about the Rusty mini camp. Yeah. Uh, well, let's also talk about real quick. Just drop it for the summer series that we will have uh, special deals for Dunlops. Um, every mm. player will get a drink ticket. Mm. Okay. And uh, oh, like, what does that entail, Jerry? Just one drink, you cheap fuck. So, <laughs> but there's there are definitely uh, uh, it's one drink, okay, ticket okay. per person. But right. it's top shelf, whatever you want, open like you Ooh, know, whatever you want, whatever you want. You can get All anything. Right. You can get anything at the bar, and we're gonna have a buffet um, special for I think what fifteen dollars per person. Yeah, and it's all you could eat barbecue style. Oh yeah. And then there are definitely there are drink specials that we will put out there um, that Dunlop uh, what else we offers. Doing? Cornhole. So we're going to have cornhole bo- boards set up. We're going to have um, hopefully a live band that we still need to figure out. Mm. Uh, sorry, some some buddy. live music. I meant to ask about that. Yeah. I want to chill, Tony. You kind of skipped out. Shut on up, Blair. I'm, I'm <laughs> going to bring my fucking Xbox. I'm going to destroy you in front all of everybody, right, dude. Uh, we're, working on <laughs> get, we're working on getting all those games open up. So, like, in between, you don't have to go home or anything like that. You can just go upstairs, have some food, drinks, hang out. and uh, Tony style, baby. Hang Tony's out with out. us, baby. Yeah, yeah. And get ready it's for... So um, How do you like City that? Right? Next right? Rain City Inn? Yeah, I got a registration uh, for them. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, I'll <laughs> like put on the spot, bro. Hot seat. Uh, like, Are know, you like, in, Ross? Of, I'm always in. Yeah. 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 I love yeah. that. How'd it's you like that threes hockey. tournament? It, it was cool. Yeah. It, it was definitely uh What? A, what you guys won, right? <laughs> I was going to say, you did Sorry, that. I fucking one? forgot. Yeah. That clip, I, I thought about it. I forgot to say about it. I bounce. Yeah. Yeah. It was different. Yeah. It was definitely different. Yeah. Just because, you know, it's not much space. It was weird. It was definitely weird. No, it's not like. Like I don't know. I had a blast, hockey, but it was hockey. definitely yeah. It was I feel like you, fun. you, your style of play had the upper hand in this type of tournament, though. No, you, yes and no. I mean, when it comes down to three on three, you need mm-hmm. to move the puck. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not about mm-hmm. like oh, you got the best hands, you're a good skater. You can't mm-hmm. you can't do one on one stuff there. Yeah, you need to you know move the puck, open up the ice. And it's quick the passes. Right? Yeah, there's nowhere to skate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree with that. It, it sure. was a fun time. Though. And I heard it the bo- the boards were unforgiving too. They're unpredictable, kind of, right? Hmm. No, I didn't hear that. It was just weird, dude. Yeah, it's basically, weird. it sums, that like sums a, it all it's up. It's always a weird. It's like it's just a small. It's just area. different. Like I, I don't know. I feel like I played decent, and that should say something because I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Hawks did good. We just faded at the end. <laughs> well, because <laughs> nobody fucking two showed people. Up. <laughs> Everyone left, dude. Yeah, you guys had like six people or yeah. five people, right? Five people. At the I don't end. think Basco got off. He played no, the whole he game. Played the, he played the entire happy. game he because happy to do that. we had like four people drop out at the last fucking – like literally for the playoffs, we had them drop yeah. out. I think he played you guys. In, yeah, in, in the, the first playoff, round, first yeah. round playoff game, yeah, yeah, yeah and time. we only lost run by run a back. goal or two. Yeah, it was a good game. Yeah. I mean, all all the games are like any team can win it in in a way. Totally, in threes, yeah. totally. We're definitely gonna do that again in the fall. Yeah, we got it. Was it. definitely that was really fun. Yeah. fun. It's way. nice to just bang it out in a day. Yeah, it was a really fucking tiring day. It was. It was oh, fucking yeah, worth it. Yeah. But it was fun Especially to get it all done. You know, you put us the first game, and then it was really tough. Like, no, it's to trying to spread out. I would like to almost do so. It was six teams we ended up with. I would probably like I've liked four teams because then you could play much closer together. Okay, you know what I mean. Like, more so back to backs rather than be the, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was kind of like six was the max, and we ended up like four would have been pretty sweet. But four is like you know, yeah, yeah you'd be playing the same team. Yeah. Over and over. Yeah. Yeah. But you'd probably play every team and then into the playoffs. But um, who'd you play in the finals? Moonshine. Yes. Right, we did put Moonshine. Moonshine, right? Moonshine, mm-hmm. right? And it, it was, was a while ago. Now. It was oh. tied. I think it really close to the end. Yeah, you guys it was. The end. Yeah, yeah. Um, which I was happy for Moonshine because they struggle a little bit in the silver division, um, but they did good in the in the threes. They did in the threes. So, yeah, but, buddy. Like you said, anyone could win. Yeah, the I summer thought. series is gonna be really fun. Uh, definitely How register. Yeah. Um, Looking forward to it. Yeah, of course. Sure. And I like to open up to uh, the referral program. Is to all players, so it's not just like I reach out to captains, obviously, as the first point of contact, yeah. Um, and say that, like, hey, whoever you refer, you get 100 hours off, but it's like mm-hmm. any player that plays, 
for their team, if they get a team to sign on, if they know somebody who's interested or whatever, they get $100 off. Right. Just less that everyone has to pay. So, yeah, I love that. You know, easy stuff. It helps everybody. Love that. All um, right, I got a, uh, I got a nice announcement for Larry's Look Ahead, which I know everyone's impatiently waiting for. I've been waiting this whole time. This whole right. hour, what is it minutes, called again? I, that's all. I'm Larry's waiting. look ahead. Yeah, all right. I was yeah, actually talking. You know, I got my nicknames. Twitter, I got a segment yeah. too. Yeah. I was actually talking to Ross, and he was like, "That's the one thing he was excited for was Larry's look ahead." So <laughs> like, that's why he I came know I got down. one fan. I know two just waiting for Larry's <laughs> look ahead, dude. <laughs> okay. All right. So what what did we do this week? We got a save the date for our outing. We our did. First golf yes. Outing. So we had our meeting. We. Uh, solidified the date so steve um, hates it of course but yeah, of course yes, he do. hates everything that we do because <laughs> it's not his idea but it's the uahl annual golf classic oh my god so it is uh monday october 23rd um we're working on the time but it's going to yeah. be an early tea time so we're thinking eight or nine o'clock start time yeah um, we're at jer we are at Valley Brook, <laughs> Valley Brook Country Club in Blackwood, New Jersey. Let's so go. kind of like, kind of like right in the middle for everybody. I think the Larry's backyard. So yep, as yeah, it's right next. Larry to me. will still be late. Yeah. So I what? Might, is, I might, um, I might <laughs> bash me. Late, I, can't, you know? I can't even we, deny that. We are working on the pricing, but it will include um, just like a continental breakfast. Uh, obviously, the scramble, 18 holes. Um, it will be all you can drink with three different domestic beers on tap, fountain drinks. That's um, fucking crazy, dude. Yeah. Uh, an I'm gonna hour. Get, I'm going to get fucked up. Some of you are driving home. <laughs> here's the thing. It, <laughs> it will start. You crash in my house. <laughs> it will start an hour before we um, you know, start the the outing so at 8 a.m um, you can start getting fucked up. we will start drinking <laughs> That's and golf it, yeah right so it'll there. be three nice, do, three uh domestic beers and that'll be hot dogs, but it will dude. be it will <laughs> be uh you know if you guys want something different than what we're offering obviously it's a, you can you know pay cash and do it um and after the eight, the 18 holes we will have a cocktail hour for an hour and a half with uh food it will be a buffet like a barbecue style with hamburgers hot dog salad Buffets pasta salad right? and we will continue the three different domestic beers that we choose and the fountain drinks. Wow. Um, what a value, so, dude. Yeah, so we'll have a couple. Big value. Yeah, we'll have a couple giveaways. eat all day and drink all day and play stupid golf that I hate. Yes. <laughs> but we'll have some giveaways. We'll have some baskets. We're golf, still working on the details. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, for that stuff. but it, That's it why will, it's under Larry's look ahead for now. Yeah, so it's but a look, ahead. look ahead for Yeah, that. so yeah, it'll definitely be um, Monday, October 23rd. So mark your calendars, get your foursomes ready, and get ready for an annual golf classic that will Thank be. you, Jerry. Thank Spots you. Spots are limited. Spots are limited. Yeah. That'll go out uh, <laughs> That'll go out on our, our, our weekly email as well, too. So. What's it um, called? The UHL UHL Annual Golf Classic. Beautiful. Classic. Way to steal my uh, thing. All right. Can't what? wait for uh, what? what? I'm what? just kidding. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. With all that being said, I'm giving you the log next week. I don't care even if you're not there, just so you're in a better. <laughs> I'm really not going to be there. Dude. <laughs> yeah. So this kind of ties this kind of ties into the golf classic coming up. Check out um, the sponsorship post under you know on our Instagram profile if you guys are interested in generating more awareness for your business or brand with the UHL. And with that being said, I'm all good. Uh, you guys can email us at info, info at uhlhockey.com if you need anything. Um, I'm good, boys. Yeah, I want to thank Ross for coming on. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Ross is nice obviously our... our uh, Appreciate it. Can I ask one more question? Dude. That no. I forgot to... I know, it's, I know we're going long. I know we're going no, long. No, no, you're good. No. Rain City, City Pigeons. Can you explain that name? Oh, that's a great question. I know that's the a, answer. That's that. a good question. Well, oh, no, well, great. Well, no, 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 no. Don't answer it. Steve knows the answer. So the nobody else. I'm can. just saying if I know. Do you know? What? Like, what's up? With yeah. That? Like, what's what was the mean? origin of it? What uh, does it mean? Or? I have no <laughs> like, idea. Exactly. Yeah, I so what's the name? I think it was a um, a play on the Seattle Seahawks. Mm. Seattle Seahawks. Like, okay. if the Seahawks suck or stink or whatever, they're called the Rain City Pigeons. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So I guess whoever who started the team. You ever been to Seattle? I've never Sorry, been to Seattle. I know, it, dude, I, I know. Like I know. Listen, idiot. I know it rains a lot there in Seattle, but I've never been there. No. Yeah, Rain City Pigeons. Is that, yeah. That's that's a, a I don't know what Seattle it's from Seahawks. Honestly, okay, but I know that yeah. that's where it's derived from. <laughs> Okay. The try Ross. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Right, well, Steve here. That was just yeah. yeah it's a cool name, dude. I, just, I do like it, yeah. and, and that's why I'm upset that I forgot to ask it because I think it's a really cool name, yeah. and I think yeah, jerseys are cool. And I just uh, just wanted to. It's ask honestly. It, so. Oh no. no. <laughs>
Are you wrong? Or? It's, no, 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 I wasn't wrong, but the full name is the Rain City Bitch Pigeons. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did see that when I looked it up. It, it is the Rain City Bitch Pigeons. Yeah. All right. Damn. So it's got to be. Uh, but, yeah, thanks Listen, again. Listen, cooler, there's cooler birds that you could play for, Ross, so, uh, you Ooh. know. <laughs> Damn, not the recruitment. You, on, guys, on, on you guys heard the poach live on air. Brad, Brad's not going to like that, dude. <laughs> but again, I, yeah. Everyone's going to be pissed off. Ross, thanks again for coming down. Oh, yeah, appreciate Ross, it thank opening you. up for thank us. You. We we do uh, you know appreciate everything and keep supporting the you and all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, buddy. Appreciate, appreciate what you're doing. I appreciate you guys. You guys are doing a great job. Thanks, man. Thanks, buddy. All right, guys. All right, fellas. Love you guys. Peace. See ya.